Father. Wow. Good to see you, yes, Father. Yes, 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 yes. Whoa. Oh, okay, welcome. Yes. Oh, my dear, my dear daughter-in-law. Looking as fit as Peter. Yeah, that's my brave grandson. How are you? Son. Uh, yes, I hope you have a, a good plan. Oh yes, yes father. Our trip was wonderful. Yes. Actually we are glad to be back home. Yes we are. <laughs> yes, there is nothing like home. Even my father used to tell me that. Nothing like home. Come on, sir. we'll go inside. Aha, father. Uh, I noticed a lot of changes while yes. we were coming back home. Everywhere looks so different. Yes, a lot of changes. I was just telling my wife. This can only be the handwork of an industrious king. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can say that again, son. You know the porcupine? He may not have a gun, eh? but it's a terrific hunter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, we go inside, eh? Okay, uh, and mother. Mother is, mother is inside. Ah, oh, that's my yes, son. Oh, yes, he comes. <laughs> Ah, you look good. Thank you, mother. Welcome. Thank you. My beautiful daughter-in-law. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I can you. see that. <laughs> That's my brother. Come on, boy. Wow. Such a big boy now. So big. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, how is your health, mother? My son, you can see I'm looking very good. My husband took very good care of me. Uh, uh, I trust him. I've always <laughs> known him to be a very good and caring father and husband. You can say that again. Oh yes, why not? I would know how to take care of my wife. You can say that again. <laughs> she found me there. Ah, welcome. Oh, this is a glorious day. day. Uh, Come on, baby. No. Well, that festival is uh, just a few months from now. Mm. Well, that would be nice, Father. I'm very glad because I, I cannot wait to witness that festival for the very first time in my life. Mm. Mm. That's a big one. Also, so festival. <laughs> big festival. Especially for the gods. That's why everything is done according to the dictates of the gods. But, um, for Father, I would like to know why is it done every four decades? Unlike other festivals in our kingdom. Eat your food. That one is confidential. Females are not supposed to know about that one. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> That's the tradition. There are things we don't share with our... Anyway, I'm not bothered. All that I'm bothered about now is for Francis and Cassandra to give me a second grandchild. Mother, it's not late yet. It is, my son. Michael is all grown now. Give me a second grandchild. All right. Um, we're, we're working towards it. Put more effort. That's just all that I'm bothered about. Cassandra. Do. I hope you're part of this discussion. Yes, ma'am. Do something about it. Anyway, I'm not bothered. All that I'm bothered about now is for Francis and Cassandra to give me a second grandchild. Mother, it's not late yet. It is, my son. Michael is all grown now. Give me a second grandchild. All right. Um, we're, we're working towards it. Put more effort. 
That's just all that I'm bothered about. Yes, 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 I just landed. I'm in Nigeria now. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. I just left the airport. I'm heading straight to my village. It's good to be home. Okay, see you. <laughs> wow! Home sweet. So you decided to give us a surprise return, eh? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Thank you, you are welcome. Yes. Hey. You want to go to America? Mm -hmm. You will finish your studies first. Um, charity. Brother. That is no problem. But that will be after you must have acquired your first degree. Hmm? Right. To become one yeah. Now listen very carefully, charity. Papa. If I were you, hmm? I would take my studies very seriously. Oh. Hmm? Look at your brother here. He's ready to take you to anywhere. He's ready to do anything for you so that you can be useful tomorrow. Okay? Hmm? Um, Papa, my dear. I'll be starting work here by next week. 
Ewo. Yes, I'll be starting the project of a new building. Hi! This one will be demolished. You mean you are going to bring this house down? Yes, Papa, I will. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> wait. Huh? Wait for some time so you accumulate money. Hmm? Because, just wait. You can't just do it so, just like that. Hmm. Abby? My son, your father is right. Let us wait. We are not in a hurry to leave this house. Yes. Eh? We are not in a hurry. I believe that God's time is the best. We fatally go enough money to start from foundation. Then we can pack in. Um, Papa, as a matter of fact, before I left London, I bought the house in the city through my friend who is a real estate man manager. Ah! Yes. Hey! Oh, hey! Yeah, so all of us will be staying there while the projects go. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you.
Wait a minute. Is this not Tina? Let me check if she's online. Oh, damn it! She's not. Let's go, engineer. Hello, engineer. Oh, you, you you want to see me? Okay, okay. Um, I'll be on my way right away. Just tell my father to wait for me. I'm coming. Immediately. Huh? Okay. Uh, are you going out? Uh, yes, mama. The engineer just called me that my attention is needed in the village. So let me hurry to meet them up. Hey, um, before I forget, we will be having a visitor here tomorrow. A, a visitor? Okay, ma. let's talk about it when I come back, okay? Let's see. Well, mama, let's talk about it when I'm back. Thank you. Your Highness, provided the caller not does not prove deceptive, the alligator pepper will also be dependable. Let us not jump into conclusion yet until we hear from the people of Umo Etiti. Greetings, Your Highness. Great to wow. In support of what Ikeze has said, uh, let us send delegates to Umo Etiti and find out from their Igwe why it is real approach into our land. After that, we know what to do. Igwe. Igwe. Igwe Oche in the one. Iche. Iche is it. And our colleagues are here. They have spoken very, very well. We all here are all aware of the cordiality that has been existing between this Kingdom and that of humility. Igwe. Let me ask, why this sudden encroachment into our land? Why? Igwe. But let me also advise. We must not fold our hands over this matter. Igwe, we must do something. And do it very, very fast. Ekuchamu. Elders, I thank you all. You've spoken well. And I appreciate your various contributions. Umuetiti has been a good neighbor to us. But that doesn't mean that we're going to fold our hands and watch things get out of hand. Communicate with other cabinet members who shall meet here tomorrow and decide what to do next. Okay. 
and now it's on the line today. I'll soon be with you. My subscription finish now. Oh God, why would you end now? I think I have to change. I hope you're okay. I'm fine. Please do feel very comfortable, eh? Okay, ma. My son will soon be back. Okay, ma. Your drink. Is your welcome. Oh, thank you, Mama. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, sir. <laughs> She's Fevo. Fevo, you're welcome. Okay, sir. Thank you. Um, Mama, I'll go out there, sir. Don't worry, eh? Just relax, eh? You'll still see him. <laughs> thank you, man. <laughs> This phone all day. What is it? <laughs> yes, Mama. I, I I have been chatting with my friends. You, you should know now. Hmm? <laughs> I waited for you to come down to meet our visitor, but I didn't see you. Why? Uh, uh, Mama, I never knew you needed my presence. Collins. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Wish. She's Favor. Her name is Favor. The girl I told you that uh, is from a God fearing family. Her parents are very nice, very religious. And she's a nice girl. She is well brought up. I like her so much. I want you to marry her. I know she will make a good wife for my son. Mama, you seem to be in a hurry to have a daughter in law. Why? What are we waiting for? Are you a legend daughter? Yeah! Big Opa, I want my son to get married and start having children. I need grandchildren, not one, no, children. You are a very rich man now. So what are we waiting for? Hey Diego! Hey Makagego! Get married and start having your own family. Um, okay mama, I've heard what you said. Hmm? Later, we are going to discuss all of this in details, okay? Hmm? But for now, I am still busy. Please, be good, be good, normal. Ain't happy, phone. Ain't happy, ain't happy. I'm happy here, ain't happy. I don't know what you are pressing there, but whatever it is, <laughs> eh, I know you have heard me, and I know you will do something about it. So, I will go so that I will not disturb you. Yes, mama. Think about it. I said we'll talk about it. Uh, we'll talk about it there. Uh, please just go let me continue. I don't do this. I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm going. I don't want to disturb you. Hmm? Okay. Take care, my son. Hmm. Mama, mama. Hmm. Uh, don't be working.
truth. Put it there. Sit down. I want all the maidens, and indeed everybody in this palace, brought here immediately. Father, I have talked to virtually Everyone in the palace. Nobody seems to know her whereabouts. This is the second time a maiden is disappearing in this palace. Eh? The second time. Yes. My queen, I suspect she may have run away. No, that's not possible. There is no way she could have left this palace without anyone seeing her. The first maiden that left. Did she also run away? Oh, uh, Father, a stitch in time, they say, saves night. If this kind of mysterious incident keeps occurring, well, that means we're all in trouble in this palace. Well, get to the area command then. And have them search diligently for this girl. She must be found. I am so scared to my woman. I am very scared. Wait, why would our colleagues be missing in this palace like that? Why? I want both of you to understand that this palace knows what happened to Ada and the first maiden that disappeared from here. Yeah, baby. Be very careful. Look at the ones, they have ears. Let the ones have ears. This morning, before that took that morning tea to the evening, she told me, and she never returned. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Are you very sure with what you're saying? Are you very sure? Oh, that means the Igwe knows what happened to her. The Igwe knows it about us. Ifoma, do not quote me anyway. I'm only giving you information. My king, don't you think you should take a trip down to Umwetiti? You have to talk to Chief Umekago. He's your childhood friend. Find out from him why he suddenly turned against you. Omegago is daring me. But I do not need to hide in shooting a bush baby. Because bush baby. What's that? I I I don't know. The youth of this kingdom, they are here to see you. Yes, your highness. Your 
finance. The people of Umbetiti, they ambushed us at Umbetiti land. They killed all of our men and made away with their bodies. Right now, they have taken over Umbetiti land. And we not only really escaped. Eh? Hey. Omega God. Omega God sent his men and they did this. Thanks to you! They did this to me, Igwe! <laughs> Omekago! If a child, if a child disturbs the sleep of Eronganga, the bird, Eronganga will in turn distract the child from running errands for his mother. Omekago, you've bitten more than you can chew! The number of youths that have lost their life to this fight with immunity is getting out of hand. I think you should talk to your father. I believe he can put a stop to it. My father is not a coward. He will not let Omekago take what belongs to this land, this kingdom of Oji. Never. Francis, people are losing their lives, I said. People are dying, people's children. It's normal. It's called patriotism. They're simply laying down their lives to protect their fatherland. It's very normal. It happens everywhere in the world. No. No, Francis, it's very, very unfair. I believe dialoguing this thing out will help everybody in this situation. Dialogue. Dialogue with who? Omekago. It's not possible. Nobody can dialogue with him. Omekago will pay dearly for everything he has done. Has he not disrupted the Osusu festival? You want him to go scot-free? Never. I say it again, never. He will pay. He will pay. Wow, Collins. So you say you have been around for three weeks now. Yeah, oh yeah, I came in three weeks ago. Oh my goodness, you are looking so beautiful and big. Are you serious? Thank you very much. <laughs> wow, I never knew I could meet someone like you again. After your NYS, you just vanished like that. Um, I'm Tina, I'm sorry. I never planned it that way. I never knew it would happen that way. Well, the most important thing is that God has made it possible for us to see again. Yes. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you. Um, Tina, where is your friend Cassandra? Where is she now? I really want to see her. Uh, I've not really heard from her. What? I, 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 are, are you trying to tell me that you have not seen your best friend? I've ever since the both of you left school. Oh, come on. No, I don't. We lost contact. Are you, are you trying to say you don't have a phone number? Listen, I lost my handset and I couldn't do the welcome back. And you have not visited her ever since then? I don't know her, please. How can you say that? I thought you know her town. What am I going to do now? Do I tell him the truth? It might hurt his feelings. I warned Cassandra about this. I knew he must surely come back for her. Collins, 
It's okay, you, you, you did nothing wrong to me. I'm here for you, okay? I'll take care of you. I can't stay here. I have to go. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Cassandra! Cassandra, please come back, I love you! nothing wrong to me. I'm here for you, okay? I'll take care of you. I can't stay here. I have to go. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Cassandra! Cassandra, please come back. I love you! Hello? Good afternoon. I'm, I'm fine, fine, thank you. Please, can we meet at that restaurant? Yes, right now. I'm dressing up already. Okay. Okay. So, Tina, when I woke up, I tried my best to comprehend the meaning of that dream, but I couldn't. Maybe you were thinking about her all day. I can't tell. Tina, to be frank with you, from that moment on, I have not been myself. Tina, please, tell me, why did you ask to see me? It's about Cassandra. Really? Please, Tina. Tell me. I, I know you're hiding something from me. Please tell me everything you're hiding about Cassandra, please. Well, I know someone that can lead you to her. Where can I find him or her? Inside here. Oh. 
you're not ready. Uh, no, but uh, I'll be done in five minutes. I'm almost done. Uh, good afternoon. Please, uh, I am looking for someone. Her name is Cassandra. Please, can you let me get to her? Uh, I can't possibly let you because I don't know who you are. I, I, I was told by her friend that she lives here. Is she one of the medics? I can't tell, but I, someone told me she lives here, please. Just help me. Assist me, please. All right, we'll wait for you outside. Okay. We're already running late, and you know that. Hey, hey, what is What you like, but I'm not listening. Uh, My mind's made up. I know what I'm doing. Uh, she touched my heart uh, in a special way. Uh, I won't give in. I won't give up. Can't let her go away. Uh, She's mine. That girl is mine. She loves my mind. She looks so. The girl is mine That girl is mine She loves my mind She looks so fine The girl is mine That girl is mine She loves my mind She looks so fine The girl is mine That girl is mine She loves my mind She looks so Better wipe those crocodile tears from your eyes before I kill you with my bare hands! Francis! Why are you acting this way? Why? How did that bastard know that you're here? 
Huh? Who told him you're here in this palace? I swear I don't even know! You lie! You are having a secret affair with him. Francis! And I will hit you again if you call my name! in that palace with that beast called Francis. What is she doing there? Hello, Tina, are you there? Sorry, I didn't know how to tell you. How to tell me what? I didn't know how to break the news to you. What news are you talking about? Hello, Tina, talk to me. Are you there? Hello. Tina, talk to me. Cassandra got married to Prince Francis three years ago. Hello, Collins. What is all this? Eh? What have I gotten myself into? I should have insisted that I know nothing about Cassandra's whereabouts. Have I gotten myself? Hey. I met her in the university when I was in my second year. And at that time, she was a first year student. I never had another girlfriend. Because she meant the world to me. She meant everything to me. Hi. Hi. Good day. Please, I'm I'm looking for the HOD's office. <laughs> okay. Are, are you a new student? Yes. All right. Uh, come. Let me show you to. Thank you. Thank you so much. My dear, that is what they normally do. Don't worry. You see him soon. All right, just I'm in the hair. Okay. Hey, what is this for you? Stand there. Said I want to talk to you. Well, I do not want to be talked to, especially by you. Give me two minutes. I do not two have minutes. two minutes. Let go of me. Hey, what's your? Hey. Hi. You... Hey. How are you? Fine. How's the lectures? Very well. <laughs> I didn't know you recognized me. And why won't I recognize you? <laughs> and who is he? Um, I don't know him. He just keeps following me about like a dog in heat. That might be okay. That is how they go about studying the students. Yeah? By the way, um, I'm going for lunch. Would you mind if I ask you to join me? Sure. Okay, this way. You know that guy that was following me about the other day? The one you said his name is Francis. 
Mm -hmm. So yesterday he shows up in my room unannounced and then he begins to blab a lot of nonsense like how I am dating a broker's boy who cannot even take care of me and how much I deserve better and I don't even know how he got to know my room. So what does he want from you? What else will he want? If not friendship, he wants to date me. The only reason I opened the door for him is because when I heard the knock on the door, I thought it was you. You must be foolish. Please do not listen to him. Okay? No, I won't. That's for sure. So you listen up here. What is it? I see you're the one deceiving this chick. Stay away from her. Else I will chase you out of this school. You cannot do anything to me. Friendship is not by force. Really? Alright. Don't say I didn't warn you. Cassie, I was thinking of going home tomorrow to see if I can raise some money for my school fees. And what will now happen to your lectures? I have no choice. I have no choice because my results are yet to be computerized because of that. How much do you need? Hmm? I, I don't understand. I asked, how much do you need to sort yourself out? I mean, I have some money that I have no use for, for now. I can give it to you, so you pay your fees and, and stay in school. You need to be in school at this period. And again, what are friends for? Cassie, thank you. I, I really don't know what to say again. You're so kind to me. Thank you very much. I promise I will never let you down. I trust you. Let me make tea for you. That's all I can do now. <laughs> Let me just, please, just manage it. It's Tina's birthday, so wow. she's taking me out. Beautiful. So I'm happy to be here at this hour. Tina, happy birthday. Thank you. But you can join us if you don't mind. Yes, yeah, you can see I have no choice. But am I free to go? Yeah, you look good. Let's go. Good. Serious? Yeah. It's your birthday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready.
Mmm. Mm. They are really out to spoil us this night. Mmm. This is good. But of course, she's a good girl. She may not be as loud as most students are, but we definitely know she's a good girl. Has. I certainly do. Me, a big girl. I'm not a big girl, don't mind that. Are you not a big girl? Mm -mm. You want to deny it now? Whatever. I'm enjoying myself here. Yeah. Enjoy yourself very well. It's my day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's your day. More drinks? Mm. Oh. to have a word with you outside. I would like to have a word with you outside. Why won't you leave me alone? Leave me alone, Francis. I do not want to have a word with you. Not in here, not even outside. Now you may get lost. My guy, you heard her. You heard her sound and clear. She said, leave her alone. And if you don't mind, please leave her table now. And if I, don't... I will make you regret it. If you don't leave, I will make you regret it. You will make me regret it. for the food and the drugs and please don't forget to go to my department and tell my course rep what happened in case there is any test please you have nothing to worry about i'll tell him i have to hurry now i'll see you soon You are the one that broke my head and and you went ahead to call the police for me. Officer, arrest this man. Gentlemen, you are under arrest. And you have the right to remain silent. For whatever you do or say here, we will be used against you because of law. Officer, take it. Please, officer. Please, can I at least eat my food and take my drugs, please? Alright, do that first. Telling me you're not aware of what happened. What happened? I was, I was told by a friend that Francis took a policeman to Collins Hostel and arrested him. Collins is now in a police custody. What? Yes. Oh my god! What police station is that? Central Police Station. Hi.
Say something, please. Cassandra. Cassandra, talk to me. I'm your friend. What is the problem? Thank God you are here. Baby, what happened to you? Talk to me. Tina, what happened to her? I don't know. I've been asking her since I came in. What is the problem? What happened? Please talk to Who was here, baby? Francis. He tried to rape me. What? <laughs> Tina, did you hear that? Francis was here and he tried to rape her. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's good. So how was it? It went well. <laughs> I know what you can do. I trust you. Because I really missed you. Hmm. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. I mean, all these secondary school girls, they are not making passes at you. <laughs> Come on. You know me. And there is no point defending myself. I know what I can do. That's true, I know you. And I missed you too. Um, I have a surprise for you. A surprise? What is it? Please can you close your eyes. I close my eyes? Yes. Right now? Right now, please. Please, what are you even up to? Just go ahead and close your eyes. My eyes are closed. I really don't know what you have for me. Very soon we'll be done with everything about school. Would you marry me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'll marry you. Yes. Thank you. I Thank you. Love it. Love it. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Good evening. Have you slept? Oh yes, how are you? I'm fine. Sorry I disturbed your sleep. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Um, I can't seem to find sleep. Yeah, worried, why? Why are you worried? What's the matter? Hello? Hello, I'm here. Please talk to me, what is the problem? Collins, I think I'm pregnant. I have not seen my period for two months now. Jesus, you are pregnant? Are you serious? Hello? Hello, hello. I can hear you. Hello? Why Cassandra has refused to take my call since morning? My God, what is happening? Papa Collins. Good afternoon. Afternoon. How are you? I'm, I'm very fine. I like to be leaving in two weeks' time. <sighs> yes, that, that's true. That's great. Uh, I would like to see you in my office. I would want to have a word with you in my office. Okay. Before you go to your lodge this afternoon. Okay. Honey, why are you not picking my call? Why are you why why are you rejecting my calls? Please talk to me. I called you here to have a word with you. You see? It gives me joy to see young men who are intelligent and responsive. I have really observed you since you came to this place. I must say, you impressed me with your services here. Thank you very much, ma'am. Let me not waste much of your time. I have something for you and I know you will not let me down. Okay, ma'am. I um, will not let you down. Okay. Do you have an international passport? Oh no, not yet. Okay, no problem. I will give you some money now to start processing it. I know you'll be wondering why I'm saying all this. Uh, yeah. Yes, ma, I do. Uh, my eldest son lives in London and he has an establishment over there. He needs a young learned man who can help him run the place. So I recommended you. Ma? I recommended you. You're a good man. Cassandra, take your call. Take your call. Take your call. Jesus. Just, just pick up, pick up. I need you to pick up now. I need you to pick. Come over. What has, what has come over you? Oh my God. What am I going to do now? What do I do? What do I do now? Oh.
thank you for this. I think I have to hurry before the office is closed. I think I have to hurry. Baby, please pick up your call. Pick up your call, please. Pick up your call. That is good. I will send this to my son at Lagos to start the processing of your visa. Then when he comes back here, I will take you to his place for formal introduction. Yes, ma'am. Uh, have you informed your people about this? Yes, yes, ma'am. I, I have done that already. Okay. So you will have to start preparing, okay? Because my son won't be staying much longer by the time he comes here and go back. He will take you to London with him. Uh, Ma, I don't know how to express how grateful I am. No problem. I, 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 am, I am short of words. Thank you very much. It's okay. You can go now. Thank you very much, Ma. May God continue to bless you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Take care, sir. This time next week, I'll be out of this country. And I've not spoken to Cassidy. God. Never lost him. Only when I can communicate at those and others. Only one thing. This girl you are talking about. He's not married. He's got to marry to another man. I would advise you to let her be. She's now some other person's wife. Somebody else's wife. Other person's property. Whether you like it or not. Yes, my son. Let her be. I told you that I have someone I want you to get married to. Somebody from a reputable family. A nice home. A good girl. With, with, with a very good behavior. My son, 
her name is Favor. Mm -hmm. Marry Favor. Leave whatever you call her name. Please. Uh -huh. Goddess, you are now a very rich man. A very rich man. And you can marry any girl you want. Anyone. Papa. Papa. Yes. Witches have nothing to do with this. I am not just worried because Cassandra is married to a man who attempted to rape her years ago. I am also worried because she has my son. What? Your son? Yes, my son. Son? Oh, yes, son, Collins. Are you sure? The boy she has is my son. What? So the both of you should know the reason why I am worried and troubled. Cassandra, what do you have to say about the young man who came here in the morning? Your Highness, to be truthful to you, I. Honestly, do not know how he got to this place. How then do you explain his getting to know that you are here? Well, Father, she told him. Be quiet, Francis. I don't know. May the gods take my life if what he's accusing me of is true. You, you liar. Bloody liar! Francis. Listen, both of you. I don't want to hear anything concerning this matter again in this palace. Do I make myself clear? Cassandra, ensure that that young man does not get anywhere near this palace again. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Good. Both of you. You may leave. The only person that could have told Collins my whereabouts is Tina. But how can that be? How possible is it even given that neither Collins nor Tina have seen each other in a long time? Who is behind this? My son has told me everything. My queen. So he had the gods to direct your ex-boyfriend to this palace. My queen is not true. I assure you. An animal that searches for food in the night might not know that its footprints will be seen at daybreak. I know you will deny it. All right. No man enters the evil forest and comes back alive. It is very dangerous for you to claim someone's child. It is dangerous. There is no need to panic. You don't have to. I will observe every due process to find out the true paternity of that boy. I will. Collins. Collins, be cool. Eh? Be cool. I'm begging you. 
Do you want me to go on my knees to beg you? Eh? Please, forget everything consigning that girl. I am very sure you don't even know how wicked that king is. That king is very wicked. And he will not allow you to cause anarchy in his kingdom. He will not. That I am very sure of. I am not afraid of him one bit. I am not afraid of him. I am only concerned about my son. My blood. I am yet to understand what makes you feel you are the father of a child you cannot even give account of how he was conceived. I can't understand this. Mama, don't worry. This case is simple and I can handle it. You don't have to worry. I know what I'm doing. See, Collins, I didn't know how to break the news to you. That's why I didn't tell you. I felt betrayed. Too. I never knew Cassandra could do such a thing to me. I never believed it. Collins, you don't have to blame her. She felt so betrayed and abandoned after she tried many times to contact you when she had that problem. You don't have to blame her. And is that enough reason for her to jump into marriage with a man who nearly took my life because of her? A man who nearly raped her! Damn! This is incredible! I can't believe it! Right after all, Tina, I thought you were my friend. So it is you. It's you who's been feeding him all that nonsense about me. What was in it for you? What? You thought you could gain your way into his heart? You know what you are, Tina. You are nothing. Nothing but a traitor. It's oh, no, she is not. She is not a traitor. You are the worst traitor I have ever seen. How dare you betray me? Huh? Betray you? Look who is talking about betrayal. You that abandoned me when I needed you the most? Between you and I, Collins, who is the betrayer? Who? You, Cassandra. You betrayed me. Oh, 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 is it because he's a prince? Is it because he's a prince? Ah! Don't be silly, Collins. You forced me into that marriage. Does he even have an inkling what I went through because of him? Does he? Cassandra, you slapped me. And I would do it a thousand times over if I have to. You and I, we are done. Done! Stay out of my box. Cassandra! I am coming for my son. I am coming to grab my son! I suggest we withdraw our youth from our own it to avoid further loss of life. Hmm. Cool, Your Highness. If I withdraw my youth, are you guaranteed that there will be no further loss of lives? Are you? Dialogue, Your Highness. Dialogue. 
I suggest we employ the use of dialogue to settle this dispute. We, I mean, there's nothing dialogue can operate. Let's use dialogue, right? Dialogue! Dialogue! I call this a dialogue! Do you know the man we are talking about? Do you know him? Do you understand him? I! I know. I know the man we are talking about. Omekago is a man that would want to keep that land. He will not let go of that land. And you are, you are here advising dialogue. What kind of advice are you? Dialogue. Dialogue, my fool. Your Highness. Dialogue. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. There's nothing the priest cannot bring. Yes. I was about going, you know. I just, I just, I just added here as usual. Just going all of a sudden, you are here. Oh, make a go. Oh, make a go. How to hold Oh, tell the one of a bunch. I hear you. It is done. Yes. How to hold The only man. That is unchallengeable. <laughs> <laughs> when a strong man decides to eat pan yeah. the testimony of Kane Heath is normal. Oh, yes. No more evidence oh, yes. for every eye to oh, see. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, make a go. Oh, make a go for my titi. Do you know that you are the greatest friend I ever had? Uh. Eh? Hmm. Oh, make go. M. Time has come. Time has come for us to stop that battle. Both of us started. After all, we have attained our target. And, Omega, oh, we have spilled the of the Lord for the Great One. Don't you think so? No. Oh, oh, oh. What? I was thinking the same. If I took the words out of my mouth. Oh yes. My good boy, we shall meet tomorrow night at the temple. Oh yes. We have to solidify our sacrifice. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I can't wait to be promoted to the higher level in our brotherhood. Omega. Omega. Oh, we shall see tomorrow. We shall see tomorrow! We shall see tomorrow! Tomorrow! He really said that to you. Is that not madness? How does he think it's going to be possible? And you, what do you tell him? I didn't tell him anything. You mean you said nothing to a man who said he was coming here to claim his son? Francis, exactly what would you have rather have me tell him? And you're asking me? And you listen to me, let me tell you this. If anything happens to my son, I repeat, if anything happens to my son, I will hold you responsible and you will go in for it.
What have I done to you, Francis? Why are you breaking my heart? And why are you planning to ruin my life by bringing that guy into our marriage? Why? I already told you how he got to this place. Yes. And you are part of that arrangement. So don't deny it. Get out of my sight. I said get out of my sight. And what is going on here? Mom, she started it. She started it. Tell, tell her to stay away. Because by the time I'm done with her, Mom, by the time I am done with her, she will know exactly who she's married to. Bastard. My son, oh God, I hope nothing has happened to my son. Hey, he's not the type that keeps sleep nights. Hey, hey, look, it's, it's almost 12 a.m. and he's not yet back. What is the meaning of this night? Charity. Papa, keep on, keep on, keep on. Mama, I'm trying. You were the last person huh, to see the colleague when he was leaving the house. Yes, Papa, I was the last person. Did he tell you where he was going? No, he didn't. He just told me that he's coming. Hey! 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 Because hey, hey, please, don't allow my enemies to have my son, please. You don't allow my enemies to have my son, oh! Hey! 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 What are you doing? Mama, Keep on calling! Mama is connecting. He's not picking. Continue calling. Continue calling. We have to get him online. He's like, oh, it's no, okay. Well, cool down. Cool down. Cool down. What's wrong with you? Allow her, allow her, please, allow her. Keep on calling him! Don't stop! God, it's so Charity! Charity! Hello? Hello? What the? I don't know. The line dropped. Hello? Yes, good morning, sir. Yes, he's my brother, sir. <laughs> eh? Yes, yes, my father is here. Hold on. Hello? Hello, dear. Yes, I am his father. I'm his father. And who are you? Who are you? Ah, my son? My son? Okay, 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 okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Collins, how are you today? Doctor, I'm fine. It's just that um, <coughs> I can't still leave this time. It's still nice. It's all right. Thank God you are getting better. You'll be discharged today. Thank you, Doctor. I appreciate you for all your care. Thank you. Always remember to come for your checkups. And don't be too hard on yourself when you get home. Okay. Thank you.
What? What is it? What's wrong with that psycho? Huh? I thought he has gone his way. this later get into this palace? I don't know. Do not give it to me in the morning. God. Has your father seen this? No. Please, I, I want you all to calm down. I want you all to calm down. Don't let your heart drop with you, please. Thank you, Collins. But I'm bothered about one thing. One thing. And what is it, Papa? What is the evidence to prove that that boy is a biological son? That that boy is a biological son? yourself about that. When we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. Collins, I still insist that you withdraw this case. Withdraw this case. I don't want anything to happen to you. Please. Mama, nothing is going to happen to me. Nothing will happen. I am covered by the law. I am not comfortable with this. I am not comfortable with this. I'm, I'm, I'm not happy. Oh. Ma, 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 please. Just, just come down. Everything will be fine. Okay? <clears throat> well, I think uh, I have to go to bed now. Uh, okay, Papa. Good night. I still insist you withdraw this case from the course. Sandra, I hear you have seen this before. Yes, Your Highness. What do you think? I... I don't understand it. What do you mean you don't understand? Don't you understand what's written here? Yeah? I do. Go. Think about it and come back in two hours' time. Yes, Your Highness.
get some. Oh yeah. Someone gave me this letter outside the gate, sir. <laughs> okay, let me have it. shouldn't have gone to that extent. He just created the impression that we are begging him. That boy is too small for me to handle. I'm doing all this for you, son. And you must let me handle this matter the way I want. happy with you for going further with this case. We are not happy that you are still pushing that case, Collins. And the people of Aboj Kingdom are still not happy with us over that battle in which uh, many of their youths were killed. They are not happy. Papa, the two kings have settled their differences. They have settled their differences. Oh, well, was it not last week? Last week, that a man from Aboji came to marry a girl from this village. Was it not last week? Look, Collins, you have to be very, very careful. You have to be very, very careful. Igwe Ochendo is not a good man. He's evil. As your father, I'm advising you to think twice before you take any decision. Always think twice before you take any decision. Collins, think twice. Okay. My son, please. My son, please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please listen to what? What we have to do. Please listen. Listen to us. Please listen to us. Mama, please get up, get up, get up. <laughs> Mama, get up, get up. <laughs> please, my son. Listen to what we have told you, please. Begging you. Forget about this matter. Forget about it. Even forget about the boy. It's your life we are talking about here. God will bless you with many more children. I believe that. Please. I know. Mama, Mama, look at me. Look at me. It's not as if I want to disobey you and Papa. Mama, I am only fighting for what is mine. I am fighting for my right. Okay, what if the boy is my blood? It's the same thing I'm saying. It's the same thing we have been talking here. What I'm saying is, forget him, even if it's your blood, forget him. God will give you many more children. What is it? Can't you just understand Mama, this? nothing will happen to me, please. Don't have another one. Don't have any other son. I don't want to lose you. 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 I'm I telling understand. you that I don't want to lose you. Where is Francis? I 
hope you sent for him. Uh, he's coming. Your Highness, is Cassandra aware of this arrangement? No. I don't want her to know anything about it. Good day, Your Highness. Collins? Oh, yes. You're welcome. Collins, you're welcome. It's good you're here. I had to send for you so that we all can sit and sort out this issue amicably. Right? Right. So, uh, where are you from? I'm from home to your hands. Ah! <laughs> there you go. I see, Umetiti. You know, your Igwe Omeka and I are good friends. <laughs> oh, Igwe Omeka In fact, that's why we were able to sort out that land dispute in such a record time. Hmm? Yes, but that's by the way. You are here today, and um, we are looking forward to your becoming a good friend of this royal family. And I hope you appreciate that. Your Highness, what is good is good. Beautiful. Yes. Now then, Collins. I want you to put in the past whatever that happened between you and my son here. Yeah. Sweep everything into the past. I'm going to give you a check of five million naira so that we forget everything about that issue. Anything you are holding against my son, you have to withdraw. Okay? Your Highness, are you paying me off to forget my son? And who is your son? Huh? Who is your son? Father, I told you not to bring this bastard here. Who is your son? Answer me! Francis. Francis! I'm not a fool to have invited you over. You see, I'm just trying to extend the olive branch to you. All I want is peace. Right? So, I give you the five million naira and we forget about that matter. I don't even want to know who is right or who is wrong. Very well then. Thank you very much, Your Highness. But I'm sorry to disappoint you. I will not be able to accept the money. Francis, I will see you in court. Hmm? Oh. Father, you've seen it. Huh? Imagine what you just did to yourself. You just, you just assaulted yourself. Huh? Did you see it? I told you no! 
your help. I'm very sorry for my outburst the last time I came here. Please. <coughs> you need my help. After you must have embarrassed me and told you that we are done. Huh? I need you to help me talk to Collins. Help me talk to him before he ruins something, before he ruins my life. Please. You want me, Tina, to talk to Collins? Really? Excuse me. Say what you like, but I'm not listening. Uh, My mind's made up, I know what I'm doing. Uh, she touched my heart uh, in a special way. Uh, I won't give in, I won't give up. Can't let her go away. Uh, She's mine. That girl is mine. She loves my mind. She looks so. The girl is mine That girl is mine She loves my mind She looks so fine The girl is mine That girl I'm adjoining this case for the parties involved that are expected or directed by this honorable court to go for their DNA test in the State General Hospital. They should bring results in the next sitting. Having said that, therefore, the councils should pick a date for the next hearing. They should do that without wasting our time, please. This check is for two million naira. It's for you. Two million? For me? Dr. Luke, do you know what the toad said? Tell me, Your Highness. The toad said that he has decided to adopt a combat posture because he heard that the man coming to see him is a good wrestler. I have seen the way that boy is going about this case. I too have decided not to rest on my oars. I have decided to do something and that's why I'm here. You've made a wise decision, Your Highness. You have nothing to be afraid of. Beautiful. Very good. <laughs> Your Highness. I shall take my leave. The rest is up to you. I will do as requested. Oh, Colleen. 
Why are you doing this to me? I thought you walked away from my life for good. Now you are back to ruin me. What have I done to you? Oh my God. I have to do something before it's too late. I have to. Cassandra, I don't know what you're doing in my house again. I've told you to leave me alone. Leave me alone, please. I don't want to get involved in this matter again, please. Tina, you're the closest friend I've ever had. Are you serious? <laughs> I thought you called me a traitor. I need your help. I know that you can help me. Talk to colleagues. Beg him on my behalf. Beg him to withdraw the case from court. That's all I ask for. I have one question for you, Cassandra. Was I the one that told colleagues to take the case to court in the first place? Huh? My marriage is in danger. Just talk to colleagues. I believe he will listen to you. Listen to me, my good friend. Like you called yourself. Like I told you before. Count me out of this case. I don't want to have anything to do with you or any case concerning you again. Because I don't want you to come to my house and start calling me names again. You hear me? Have a nice day. You can say what you like, but I'm not listening uh, My mind's made up, I know what I'm doing uh, She touched my heart uh, in a special way uh, I won't give in, I won't give up Can't let her go away uh, She's mine That girl is mine, she loves my mind she looks so fine The girl is mine That girl is mine She loves my mind She looks so fine The girl is mine That girl is mine She loves my mind She looks so fine The girl is mine I went to see a friend. Which friend? Tina. What took you to Tina's place? Oh, enough. Enough already, Francis. Do I have to explain my every move to you? Give it a rest already. Sandra, get back here. Sandra! Tell me why you went to Tina's house. I'm not telling you. Kill me if you want to. I'm giving you five seconds to tell me why you went there. One. Two. And I said, kill me. Three. Because that's all I want. That's what you want. Francis! What? Francis! Stop me! You want me to kill you? That's what you want. Right?
Yes, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. You're welcome. This is Dr. Luke's office. So where is he? Uh, it is, sir, but he's not around. What do you mean he's not around? I have an arrangement to see him here now. Where is he? Actually, Dr. Luke had a fatal accident on his way to work this morning. As I speak to you right now, he's lying unconscious. Young man, don't joke with me. I want to see Dr. Luke. Take me to see him. I want him. I'm sorry, sir. You can't. What do you mean? I Take me to some you now, or I will eat sir? you Excuse me, sir. Father, father. Jesus. So what's going on? Doctor, what's going on? What was that about? I don't know. He was asking me about Dr. Luke. Honestly, I don't really know what is happening here. I don't know. I'm just confused. I've gone through these DNA results. I must inform that none of these two parties match up with the little boy's DNA. Based on this, this honorable court gives her judgment. One, it is contrary to the natural justice, equity and good consciousness to allow the plaintiff to claim the child of another man. Two, though the defendant is not the biological father of the child in question, he should be allowed to continue looking after the child until the biological father is found.
leaving this house today. You hear me? You and your bastard son, you're leaving this house. I'm going in there to find everything that belongs to you. I'm throwing out everything. Don't, 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 don't. belongs to him. Is it now a crime? No, Papa, tell me. Is it a crime? Collins. Collins. Think twice. Think twice. Before you start saying I know. Think twice, my son. Papa, Papa. There will be no had I know. No court. No judge me of what belongs to me. I must have my son back to me. I must take my son. No count. Don't give me that no count. Alright. Francis, the person who has run a race should not start panting like a woman. You have lived with your wife happily. Why now? Well, I don't understand what you're talking about. I totally do not understand what you're talking about. Cassandra is no longer my wife. Will you shut up? What's come over you? Are you out of your mind? I am not out of my mind, Father. I am in my right senses. And I have taken a decision, and that decision stands. It's my life. Excuse me, Francis. Francis, are you walking out? Are you walking out? Huh? 
Don't, 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 don't touch me! Don't touch me! I beg you, Francis, don't do this. You need to come down and me. Shut, shut up! Don't explain anything to me! You hope! I am totally disappointed in you. I am not a whore, Francis! I am not a whore! Where is this one? Jonah! Jonah! Please help me, best brother. I want to explain everything. It's not the time. Listen, don't explain it. I don't want to hear your voice. Get it. I'm not just out. Shut up! Francis! Back these things outside the gate. Throw them out. Come back. You back out. And this bastard boy out. Now! My queen, please. Thank you. Help me back in. My queen. Is Francis DNA different from his? A lot has happened, Collins. It's a very long story. Not after what happened the last time that caused the miscarriage. I'm, I'm much more careful this time. Mm -hmm. So, when are you coming back to do your clearance? I miss you, you know that. And it gets really lonely in here. Ah! <laughs> 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 Take, take whatever it is you want. Now, pull up everything. Yes. Eh? Everything and spread your legs. Now! Please, please, just, just take, take whatever, anything you want to take. I said spread your legs. Now! <laughs> now! Lay down there.
God. What am I doing here? Don't worry, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. What happened to me? Relax, let me get the doctor. Just relax. Ah! Excuse me, nurse. I've been asking a question since morning and till now I'm yet to get an answer. How did I get here? I really want to know. Well, a man brought in here yesterday. I don't know his name. He said he picked you up in the road. He was here this afternoon. He's been the one taking care of your bills and all that things. Now is to relax your mind, you feel alright. Nurse, how is she doing? She's fine, sir. What are you doing here? He's the man I was telling you about. Huh? No. No, it it can't be him. So I think you should be leaving. She doesn't need to be disturbed at the moment. It's all right, I'll leave. Just take very good care of her, please. You need to relax too. You'll be all right. I'll go get your drugs. <laughs> Sandra, my daughter, uh, we thank God that you are alive today. You see, uh, Francis called me on phone this evening and told me exactly what happened to you. Huh? You mean he, he called you? Yes, uh, he called me. You see, Francis is a very good person. Even the doctor has told us how he's been taking care of you. How did you get my father's phone number? Francis, my son, you really see, I really appreciate your kindness to my daughter. Who knows what would have become of her if you had not come to her rescue? Thank you very much. It's all right, sir. You don't have to thank me too much. I believe God uses people to bless people. So it's okay. It's okay. Um, I. Sent a nurse to get her dinner. I believe the nurse will be back by now. Oh, that is very good of you. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I pray that the Almighty God will bless you with all the good things of this life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you too. I don't know how to start to express my gratitude to you. Uh, you did not only save the life of my daughter, but you took care of her and also pay the hospital bills. May God reward you abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, Mr. Ruben, we thank God for everything. Um, I'll be on my way now. But I'll be coming from time to time to check on her. Oh, you are welcome. Anytime, any day. In fact, I want you to take my house as your second home. Please. Uh, before I leave, this is actually for you in case of any emergencies. If she needs anything, please get some help for her. All this for us? After all you spent in the hospital on her behalf, you are still giving us more money. 
Oh my God. God will bless you. God will bless you, my son. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Cassandra, please take very good care of yourself. I'll leave now. My daughter, it is time you told me who this God sent young man is to you. But now I have Francis to bother me. Francis frequents this house. He swoops in and out at will. Why? Because my parents have taken a liking to him. Do you blame your parents? You don't have to blame them. My dear, I myself am so impressed. I mean, look, the Francis I knew way back in school, Roger Francis. I'm so impressed that a sudden turn around, his good exhibition of character. I'm impressed. <laughs> and he even said he's a prince. Here. So? Francis, you're already here. Yes, I am here. You're welcome, my son. Thank you, Mr. Ruben. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine, my son. I have some goodies for you. Boys, bring down everything from the trunk. Everything, everything. Hand them over to Mr. Ruben. for some days now. You must have missed me. Ah, I missed you too. It's We've been here for some time now. You still have not said a thing as to why we're here. I'll tell you. Ah. I brought you here because I want us to celebrate your recovery. I'm happy. Don't you like it? You're not a nice person. Why then are you suddenly nice to me? Ah. Well, I'm being nice to you because I'm a changed person now. You've always known me as a bad guy, but that was way back in school. I admit I was rough. I did quite a lot of nasty things, but I did those things out of youthful exuberance. Right now I'm older. I'm wiser. I've changed totally. The Francis of today is not the Francis of yesterday. Believe me. And again, I believe that fate has brought us together. Hmm. 
Well, I'd like to thank you for your kindness towards me in recent times. That's all right. You don't have to thank me because I'm still going to do more. So much more. I am ready to do anything, everything, anything for you. Just name it. You know why? Because I love you. Because I have always loved you. Even when we were in school, I did a lot of nasty things, but pardon me, that was the only way I knew I could express myself then. Now I'm older, I'm wiser, I can talk, and I'm talking. I really love you. Believe me, I care about you. I can give you the world. You be my wife. Just when you think it's over, you look inside your heart and discover that you're still in love. sort of proposal coming from a man like Francis there's no way I am going to accept that kind of proposal have you told your parents about this tell them I haven't told them and I don't even intend to we both know how much they love and cherish Francis so where do I get off telling them this Francis is a changed person, judging from his recent reactions. Don't be upset now. Don't be upset. Listen, my good friend. I'm not trying to get you upset. I'm here to tell you the truth. Yes. Go ahead and marry Francis. Francis is rich. He's handsome. Come to think of it. Do you know what would have become of you if not for him? And to crown it all, he's a prince. My good friend, don't misuse this opportunity. I'm telling you, I will not mislead you as your good friend. Go ahead and marry him. Okay, yo. I'm going. Take my advice. So, Francis has proposed to marry me. You refuse to tell me about that. Eh? Cassandra, let me tell you. Good men like Francis are hard to find. And like your friend advised you, make good use of this opportunity. This is an opportunity other young ladies like you are looking for. Think. Please. Think. Thank you. 
Fine. What about your parents? Are they home? No, they, they went out. Come with me, I want to show you. What? Just when you think it's over You look inside your heart and discover That you're still in love With the one you love Because love is stronger What am I supposed to do? I bought this car for you. You like it? Yes! Yes! Yes, I do. Oh my god. Thank you so much. You're welcome. See, that's why I said, come with me, I have something to show you. Yeah. Ah, I'm glad you like it. Hop, hop in, let's, let's take a ride. Um. I don't know how to drive. Don't worry, I came prepared. I'll drive. Some days after the proposal, I went to the hospital for medical checkups. And I was stunned when the doctor said, he said that I was two weeks gone. I couldn't tell Francis because he hadn't slept with me. I never meant to abandon you. I still love you. And I want you back to me. Live with all these memories. No. Okay. I take responsibility for all you've been through. I'm sorry. I still love you and I want you back in my life. We can still make it together as one big family.
not sure I can survive this. It's okay, Your Highness. You'll be all right. You'll be fine, Father. Yeah. You might not believe what I am going to tell you now. I committed many atrocities on this land. Please, stop saying this. I can't. The burden is too much on me. Son, I... 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 I used you. I used your and see us a man. Oh. A sacrifice to the brotherhood. Oh. It, you, you, you will never impregnate any woman. Father. You, you, you did you did what? Huh? See, son, I knew, I knew your, your, your son, Mike, the one you called your son, is not your son after all. So that, that's why. I was anxious to, to pay Collins off. When he refused, I, I followed him. I followed him to kill him. But he, he eluded me. But why? Huh? Why? I mean, what have I done to you to, to deserve such, such, such wickedness? Why? 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 Why me? Why? Why?
Your heart.